Using LUTs is a great way to speed up your editing workflow when it comes down to video editing. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a quick and easy way on how you can import LUTs into your creative panel inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm gonna start right now. So firstly, what is a LUT? Well, the LUT stands for Lookup Table, and it's nothing more than a file with a large selection of numbers that basically remaps the image's value to change the look and color of the image. Basically, it's a filter or a preset that you apply to your video. Now, what's really nice is Adobe Premiere Pro has a bunch of free ones available. You can find them by actually going open, opening up Premiere Pro, selecting a video clip like this one here, go onto the right-hand side where it says Lumetri Color, and drop down to where it says Creative. Underneath that, you'll see it says Look. If you do the drop down, you can see here is a bunch of free ones available. You can also click Browse and you can browse on your computer. Now, there's nothing wrong with these LUTs. They're just, in my opinion, not very good. I much prefer use the ones that I've personally made or the ones that I've brought online. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can import them. So, if we want to have them in the drop down section here, all you'll need to do is basically add them to your Premiere Pro file. So, to do that, what you want to do is firstly go over to your Finder window then you want to go down to application and you want to go and find Adobe Premiere Pro, the latest version. In my case, it's Adobe Premiere Pro 2024. You want to go to the application file that you can see here, right clicking and then go to show package contents. Inside here, you want to click on contents. Then you want to go down to where it says Lumetri. So we'll find it and it's just here. Inside here, you want to go ahead and click LUTs. And then the last one is creative. And these are where all of your creative LUTs are. If I expand it, you can see at the bottom here, the actual file link. So all you'll need to do now is drag and drop the files into this folder. So what I'm gonna do is go to where my LUTs are saved. You can see that I've saved them onto my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and click colors. What I'm gonna do is basically select all of these, right click, I'm gonna go down to copy. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to the file here, I'm going to right click on here. I'm gonna go ahead and click paste nine items. Now, because you are messing around inside the content of Premiere Pro, it will ask you for a password. So I'm gonna quickly type in the password to my computer and then go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, they have now been pasted into our Premiere Pro file. So what I'm gonna do is minus out all of here. Now, if you go ahead and have a look, you can see they have not been added. And that is simply because you need to close down Premiere Pro and then reopen it to activate all of those changes that you've made inside the folders. So when you make sure you save your file, go up to Premiere Pro, quit Premiere Pro, and then go ahead and reopen it. Now, once it's reopened, all you'll need to do is go up to Lumetri Color, drop down to Creative, and now if you look in your LUTs, you can see you've got a bunch of free ones as well as the ones that you've brought. So for example, if I want to go ahead and apply my green and orange LUT, uh, it doesn't really work in this example, but as you can see, it has now been applied. And what's really nice is you've got that intensity slider below, which is why I always recommend using the creative panel to import LUTs. Because you've got that intensity slider here, you control the power of that LUT by making it even more powerful or less powerful. I find around 75 percent for most of my LUTs seem to work best, but you wouldn't be able to do that if you imported it using the import LUT section inside your basic corrections panel. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that is how you can import LUTs into the creative panel of Adobe Premiere Pro.